back, guys. It's Vince McLeod here with All Access Rugby News, and I'm with Jack Treadray, uh, the UCL Men's 1XV captain. How are you doing, Jack? Yeah, I'm very good, thank you. Very good. How are you? Yeah, you know, hanging in, enjoying the Southern California weather. What about you? <laughs> Well, the weather's pretty crap here, so yeah, we're not worth the deal. Well, that's what you get for living in England, so. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> hey, big match on Friday, right? Oh, huge. I mean, it's, um, without trying to hype it up too much, it's become a very big deal this year, especially um, for us as a team. And from last year, I'm not sure, um, certainly people won't have heard, but last year we lost on the last play of the game, literally last play, 84 minutes through the game, and it was heartbreaking stuff, so we're. Yeah, pretty pretty excited to put that uh, put that defeat to the sword really and uh, produce a very good result on Friday. I hope. Yeah, what is what is the preparation like for everything for you? Um, well, fun enough. I sort of tried not to change too much throughout the season because I think the tendency, of course, would be to train normally for the whole season and then to suddenly do loads and loads of training just for this game. And so, what we sort of said was that we're just going to train well all year and do nothing different in the lead up to this game and just try and make it another game so that people don't get, you know, way too nervous or way too hyped up for it. Got it, so we're trying to keep the emotion in check mainly and just play the game the way it should be? Well, I mean, obviously, I mean, it's going to be impossible. It'd be possible to stifle feelings and emotions towards this game, but that's pretty much what we're trying to do is keep everyone, keep everyone grounded and keep everyone sort of thinking what they want to do during the game rather than getting too caught up in the whole rivalry, I suppose. Got it. Next thing, you know, we're playing at the famous Stoop, right? One of the best Aviva stadiums in England, hands down. How excited are you guys in the UCL lads for this opportunity? Oh, incredibly excited. I mean, some, I mean, a lot of people in our team have played at big stadiums, but I think it's a completely different thing playing in a big stadium, but in front of people who you, of course, are in education with, some of them are in your lectures, you see them every day. And so it's quite strange to sort of showcase rugby in front of people who you know very, very well, rather than an impartial crowd. And so I think we're very much looking forward to that as a difference from some of our weekend rugby to some of us play. Got it, absolutely. To go on back to what you were saying before, you know, close loss last year. Do you have many guys on the same team as last year that remember it, or is this kind of more of a fresh squad that isn't really going to let that affect them from what happened in 11? Uh, well, I think it was, it was one of those things, unfortunately, that was so serious at the time. It affected a lot of people playing or not. I think it was... It was an incredible game to watch, don't get me wrong. It was for the people who went to watch a game of rugby, incredible, incredible game. But, I mean, this year we've still got, I'd say, probably three of the same people starting, maybe four. Um, and so, it obviously, still, it doesn't, you know, it's not still a set about it or anything, but it, they'll definitely still be in the back of their minds. And we're still trying to, we're going to move on. Where we, unfortunately, we actually had a match today as well, which wasn't ideal. And uh, we're trying to move on from that as quick as possible until we can get preparations fully ready for the big, you know, the big, the big one on Friday. Got it, absolutely. Let's think. You're doing well in league thus far, right? You guys are 9-0 now, or you're 9-1? Is that correct? Uh, Close yeah, to we're very, doing very, very well in league, actually. Yeah, we'll see well. Yeah, you guys, you got guys like Ollie Marsh, right? I read his strike rate, he's at 2.2, where some of the best in the premiership, right? Chris Ashton's only at .83. So you got a guy that's absolutely yeah. obliterating on the wing. How do guys like that change a mentality in terms of your attack for a game like Varsity? Well, I mean, we're very lucky. He's, um, Ollie is very, 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 very fast. And um, a lot of his opposite men, he's quite, he's very well built now, but he's only about five foot four, five foot okay. five, eight, five, six. So he's quite short. So he gets, often gets like ripped off by his opposite man until he gets the ball and just goes around the outside of him. And he's, as he said, averaging two tries a game, which is obviously in any any scoring <laughs> sport, that someone averages two tries a game is absolutely unbelievable. So he's very useful to have around, isn't it? Absolutely, it's the Peter, uh, it's the Peter Stringer syndrome. So, guys, I'll uh, rate yeah. you, and uh, you're good to go on that one. That's fantastic to hear, though, for him. Are there any other exactly. guys on the team? You know, outside of yourself, it's okay to not be modest, right? Any big attacks that you guys are looking for? <laughs> no, I mean, I think, as I said before, we're very lucky this year. We've got a very strong squad of players who all want to succeed and all want to do very well, and ultimately all get on very well, which I think is very important, of course, with the whole, like, training together, being together, being around each other. I mean... We've got, yeah, there's just lots of good players. There's no weak links, as I can think of. Everyone's playing well, training well, enjoying each other's company. And, yeah, I think it's all, it all, I was saying in training the other day, we were doing a line-out session, and every line-out was being hit perfectly. I was just joking yeah, so around saying it's great when a plan comes together. That's what you want to see as a team, right, moving forward. That's fantastic to hear. Now, switching away from the rugby aspect of Friday's big match, 
Um, is UCL ready for the mayhem that's going to be brought forth? Are the students pumped? Oh, yeah. I, well, I, from what the people I've seen, of course, I absolutely can't wait. I mean, the people have been threatened by uh, the people on my course that they're going to make T-shirts with my face on, which would be very, very embarrassing. I, I don't um, see how that I could be embarrassing, Jack. That would be me around campus and stuff. That would be a beautiful shirt, I imagine. So. <laughs> you'll, you'll have to send us one then and we'll rep it here so <laughs> of course if I do if there is one I'll definitely send over <laughs> fantastic it's, now e even more so on the mayhem side of things has anyone at UCL attempted to hurt Reggie this year off the record uh no, not to my knowledge. Not Got to it. think of. That's a great answer. That, that was really good. That's a, And one of the big final things, KCL Rugby guys are definitely listening. you got a couple statements to say to them. What do you say to the guys at KCL? I I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a hell of a game. Either way, you know, depending on who turns up on the day, but it's going to be a hell of a game and a hell of a contest. Physical, very physical contest. Emotions will be high and it'll be an incredible game. Incredible game. I think... I think we're going to win, I'll be honest. I think it's going to be difficult to see past us winning. Excellent. Let's talk about you personally a little bit, your career growing up playing rugby. Um, how has it been leading up to this point? How do you feel you're developing on as a player? Personally, um, well, I've played, I've played rugby for years and years and years, and I suppose I should probably thank or blame my mum, whichever way you want to look at it, because she, um, when I was very young, about five or six, she took me along to uh, Bournemouth Rugby Club and made me sign up and play as a real kid, and then I suppose I sort of hopped around from clubs and clubs and played for my school and stuff the whole way up and now yeah I mean being captain of the university side so is a huge honour incredible honour to be honest I couldn't really believe what happened last year I was nominated as a captain so Absolutely. I suppose yeah I'm developing well I suppose I'm uh, big, strong enough as I want to be quite fast not too fit I mean I, I had a very frustrating season last year I was injured for seven months okay a lot of season which was a real like that sort of took a lot of the wind out of my sails in terms of Absolutely. Playing rugby, but also like my motivation to go and like from this season, I, re I was very tense in my first couple of games because um, basically the injury I did, I did make a turnover, and um, as a, I play back row sometimes, and of course that's a very important part of the game. Absolutely. And so I was very tense doing it again because my ankles, my ankle, and ankle injury felt very, very weak. But now it feels okay, so I think I'm hopefully in the right place for this match. Got it. Now, if you have to pick a professional player who you play most like who would it be oh that's a very I very know. question I hate, I, know. I hate talking about myself as oh well. come on don't. Uh, you're going to have a t-shirt made with your face on it come on now <laughs> <laughs> no it's just because uh, the engineers the engineers think I'm uh, very funny I think um, no, I would I try and model myself on uh, Tom Croft as a player good but obviously he's a, he's a fantastic player absolutely and um, he's I'm quite well but I'm saying hi to him and a bit heavier <laughs> but he's obviously very athletic and very fast around the park, but much faster than I am. That's okay. So I'm trying to yeah, shift, my, uh, shift my sort of build around so I can be similar player to him, to him. That's awesome. That's, uh, hey, look, it sounds like Friday's going to be a very big one for you guys, and definitely wishing you all the best of luck on it and uh, all your mates. And we'll be watching live since it is going to be televised live stream around the world, so you might just be famous, Jack. <laughs> oh, no, please, stop it. I haven't, uh, I was joking about this today on the way home from the game, how, um, who scored all the tries, and funny enough, I haven't scored, I haven't scored two tries this season, so I doubt it'll be me who would be the famous guy, I imagine it'll be the backs who'll, uh, clean up, to be honest with you. Yeah, well, true, yeah, if Ollie doesn't score at least one, then yeah, it's a shame on that one. Well, I wish you guys the best of luck in everything, and we'll have to do a post-op after, and, uh, definitely good luck for you guys on Friday, okay, Jack? Yeah, perfect. All right. Thank you very much, it should be good. All right, cheers.